hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima so in today's video we are going to be talking about my anatomy main professional mbbs exam questions and how to answer these questions so if you've not watched my viva questions and answer video please go and watch it i talked about my viva questions and viva experience generally so watch and be blessed so let's get on with the video so the number one question said describe the adult female breast under the following heading so you see this video they've already given you see this question they've already given you headings there is no need to write stories just write the heading for them no need for introduction okay just go there write the structure you know the structure is what they want to see and you cannot do anything structure without diagram so you draw the diagram write the structure everything the alveolar the suspension ligaments everything the, you know everything you draw the diagram explain what you see in the diagram and lymphatic drainage if you have a diagram for this please draw it draw to show the lymphatic drainage and the applied anatomy straightforward you know the number one thing you should tell them in the stuff like this cancer of the breast chicken and then peel the orange of you know breast and stuff like that you just write it for them if you have up to five clinical anatomies please do because you see these two marks to have even up to one quarter of these two marks you have to write your life so don't say because it's just two marks you will just write anything number two said describe the heart under the following headings the ask a was right atrium and b was conducting tissues of the heart you see this right atrium that they asked you to write on i beg you in the name of god write the introduction if you've not first of all say if you've not seen my video on how to answer anatomy questions in exam everything that we talk here will not mean anything to you until you've watched that video so please go and watch that series first i'll put the link up for you okay so that you understand the stories i'm going to talk here so you start from your introduction as usual your introduction you draw the diagram of the right atrium then you write about the structures the key structures that you see there blood supply venous drainage innervation lymphatic drainage clinical anatomy that is what you expected to write to so the headings are expected of you here so don't go and say because you say you should write write it to me you just write only the structure and disappear you will see how you have two you see this this five marks there even two having two over five you know go see so like i said then conducting tissues of the heart this one i don't think it needs all those protocol and all that you just write draw the diagram definitely and whatever diagram you're drawing you know there's a, the, um, a particular diagram that you're expected to draw which i will put on the on the screen for you but there's still another one for you there's also the histology so if you can draw the histological diagram please do of the conducting tissues of the heart please do then um next question said write short notes on the following the maxillary paranasal air sinus and the ventricles of the larynx you know this is paranasal air sinus you write the introduction as usual then sorry that conducting tissues of the heart introduction is very much needed please then this, back to maxillary paranasal air sinus you write your introduction what is paranasal air sinus blah 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 just general stuff about the function and about of this sinus then you write draw your diagram okay you should whatever you're writing in the introduction location should be there you put the location and then you draw your diagram explain your diagram key features then the borders the relations of this air sinus you put it when you finish writing that the clinical anatomy very very important so we move on to ventricles of the larynx ventricles of the larynx introduction as well diagram make sure you also you know the ventricles of the larynx is just like a space so no need for blood supply innovation and all those blah, blah 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 you just put the borders the relations and clinical anatomy and you're good to go then number four a said describe spinal thalamic tract and b said um basal ganglia so for spinal thalamic tract this is neuroanatomy so whenever you're writing anything about tract you write the introduction as well then the origin of the tract like this is spinal thalamic so it's an ascending tract make sure you include that in your in, in your introduction that it is a an ascending tract so you write about the first order neuron second order neuron third order neuron make sure you involve those are different headings you should put to then where the synapse to very very important what kind of impulse 
do they carry it has the anterior spinal thalamic tract it has a lateral spinal thalamic tract so the anterior what do they carry the posterior the lateral what do they carry and if you can actually draw a diagram please do it would help you a whole lot and um, then you know the crude touch the fine touch pain temperature blah 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 include it then um basal ganglia my god this question is not funny <laughs> for five marks basal ganglia for five marks you write the introduction draw the diagram list the components explain your diagram blood supply venous unit clinical anatomy that's very very important make sure you even the, you should also involve the functions of this basal ganglia very important then number five said with well labeled diagrams write short note on the histology of the following the pseudostratified columnar epithelium and the inner mucosa so this one they've told you will well labeled diagram just keep like half page to draw good diagrams for them then um pseudostratified columnar epithelium introduction you know what pseudostratified why is it called pseudostratified why is it called columnar where is it found the location where it's found what is its function where they are found okay clinical anatomy is not important at all there are some appendages that can be added to this epithelium like the cilia please if you can include it then inner mucosa to for inner mucosa remember they're asking you for just the mucosa you know they are the mucosa is made up of three different kinds of epithelium to start from your introduction where is the inner mucosa found list the epithelium that are found there what if you can draw the diagram to show the transition from one epithelium to the other please draw that diagram then list the histological fact f features that you find in the ana mucosa and then you'll be good to go then arches of the foot number six said describe the arches of the foot and their applied anatomy this is not funny at all for how many marks okay 10 marks hmm, fair so you write your introduction you write your introduction then the types of arches of the foot you have the transverse arch you have the longitudinal arch even this transverse arch has types longitudinal arch has types you need to list each type draw the diagrams to show each type write about the write about the structures that support each of these types so writing about the support you're supposed to write the ligaments the bones <laughs> look be smarting but just try and write that then apart from the support you need to write about its summit its floor you know what 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 is the topmost part of that arch just like the medial longitudinal arch the talus is the summit of the arch so it is like the keystone of that arch so try and include the summit the support also the joints that are found in that arc hmm. it's not and then you write its characteristic feature like what is its main characteristic what is its main function and after that you put it all you crown all of that with clinical anatomy and you cannot write anything arches of the foot without writing about flat foot and high act foot so then if you have any other question any other clinical anatomy you can add to beef up your your answers all right guys the last part of this video will be out by tomorrow Come back tomorrow and I remember your girl Jemima.